Hi everyone, it's Anna, aka Down to Earth Girl. I am joined here today by my cat Meow, and I am going to share with you some of my favorite baby names for boys and girls. Uh, the boy baby names I did not end up using, but I still love them, maybe for the future. And the 10 girl names I really love, maybe one of those will be a name for um, our next uh, child if we end up having a girl. So the first boy name that I really really loved was Adrian. Fortunately my husband wasn't really into it. The second little boy name that I really liked was Leon. Uh, I just really like implementing a sort of European accent when I say this, Leon. <laughs> I'm not sure if I would continue to do that throughout his life or if other people would do it, but I thought it was cute. Uh, the next one I really liked was Max. That was actually in the running for our little boy, Arthur. The next one that I really liked was Elliot, which we ended up using for Arthur's middle name. And I really like this because we were actually trying to find a Hebrew name that we really liked because my husband is uh, Jewish, has Jewish background, and so we wanted part of his name to be Hebrew, and Elliot is a Hebrew name. It is also in reference to Elliot Bay. I'm from the Seattle area, and I thought that it would be nice to have a little bit of a acknowledgement towards the Pacific Northwest in reference to his name. So Arthur's middle name is Elliot, and that was one that I really liked. The next one is Zach or Zachary. I always have been a fan of Zachary. I think it's very strong and it's always going to be a name that's in style. The next one that I really liked was Luke. I guess that speaks for itself. Luke Skywalker. Next baby name on the list was Hudson. I really, really, really love the name Hudson. Unfortunately, my husband was not a fan of it. The next one is Connor. I thought that Connor was a very strong name, uh, not too common. The next names I really liked were Alden or Arden. And I thought that these were pretty fun and creative. I think that Arden could also be used as a girl's name. And Alden I really liked. It kind of reminded me of a tree. Maybe I'm thinking of an older tree, I'm not sure. The next one I like that would work for a boy or a girl is Jordan. I would spell it J-O-R-D-A-N for a boy and J-O-R-D-Y-N for a girl. So I really thought that was pretty. The next boy the name that I really liked was Stellan. And I thought Stellan was a really cute name for a little guy. Unfortunately, again, I was the only one who thought that. I also really like the name Kaylin, K-A-L. I N or K A L Y N for a boy, and I think this is going to be used for a girl as well. And the last one that I really like is a combination of the name Alex. I liked Alex, Alec, and Alexi. So, moving on to the girl names in order of my favorite name first is Tova. I love the name Tova, and I think it's because when I was little, I read a book about a girl and her sister named Tova and Rivka, and Tova, T-O-V-A-H, just really, really stood out to me. It's a name that I've always wanted to use. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use it for a little girl's first or middle name, depending on the consensus from my husband, and I really wanna use that in the future. It's also a Hebrew name, and I think it's beautiful. The next name that I absolutely love is Josephine. I think having a little girl and naming her, nicknaming her Joe or Joey is the most adorable thing in the world. The next name I absolutely love is Savannah. For me, it might be a little bit too close to Anna to have a daughter named Savannah, but it's just a name that I've always loved. I probably won't use it, but I do love it. The next name that I absolutely adore is Dakota. I really love Dakota for a girl. I know somebody who named her little boy Dakota, and I think that's adorable as well. Zoe is next on the list. I would probably spell it Z-O-E-Y uh, instead of Z-O-E. Next is Charlotte. I've always loved the name Charlotte. I did nanny for a little girl named Charlotta, but that's how you pronounce it in Germany. And in America, it would just be pronounced Charlotte. Next on the list are two sort of old-fashioned names that are kind of making a comeback. They are Lucy and Cindy, and I put these together just because I think they're both adorable little classic two-syllable names, Lucy and Cindy. I think they'd be really cute to have a little daughter named Lucy or Cindy. The next name is a little bit different. It's Braylon, spelled B-R-A-E-L-Y-N. I saw this and I just love the way it just rolls off the tongue, Braylon. Next one is Evelyn. I've always loved the name Evelyn. I think it'd be really fun to have a little girl with her nickname Evie or Eve. And Evelyn has always been 
one of the front runners for me. The next name I love is Sydney. I love the name Sydney. I think it's just a word that sounds very pretty and it's a beautiful little girl's name. The next name I love is Zara, Z-A-R-A. And I love just kind of the ethnic feel of it. And I think that I would love it a little bit more if it wasn't a clothing line. And I don't think I will be using it for uh, a daughter if I have one in the future, but I do really love it. The next name that I have always really liked is Avery. And I think that Avery is a really, really cute name. And last is the name Cecilia. I adore the name Cecilia. I think it is so pretty and it's so cute and it just reminds me of a little flower. So thank you so much for watching today. Those are my top boy and girl names. Again, possibly you all use one of those in the future depending on the gender of our next child or children. Perhaps this will help inspire you to name your baby. Thanks for watching. Bye!